Welcome to Feeling Toolset 1, Managing Feelings with Calm. When experiencing something new or unfamiliar, it's not unusual to experience fear, doubt or worry. These same feelings may also occur when we want to do something that didn't go according to plan the last time we tried it. While such feelings remind us to be cautious about the unknown or to be wary of something that harmed us in the past, they can also prevent us from doing those things that will help us to grow and enrich our lives. Using calm will help you to acknowledge such feelings and then move forward so that you can do what needs to be done. The toolset consists of this presentation together with a prompt sheet to help you calm your feelings. This presentation describes what the acronym CALM stands for and the four simple steps that with practice will help you to take control of those feelings that are stopping you from doing what needs to be done. CALM stands for confirm, adjust, laugh and move. Each letter is a step in a process that requires you to first, confirm the feeling or feelings that you're having. Second, adjust your breathing so that you focus your attention on the present. Third, laugh to alter your state of thinking and feeling. And finally, move toward the thing that you were nervous, worried or scared about doing. The first step, confirm, requires you to confirm the source of your feelings. You can do this by asking yourself these questions. What do these feelings I'm having represent? What has happened or might happen that is causing me to feel this way? Where are these feelings coming from? Based on your answers, decide what is causing them. Depending where you are and what's happening, state your confirmation out loud, whisper it or write it down. The second step, adjust, requires you to think about the way you breathe and then change it. As strange as it sounds, adjusting the way you breathe helps you to manage your feelings. The feelings that we confirmed in the first step are based either on a past event or one that will take place in the future. Something that happened to us an hour ago or days ago might make us feel doubtful or something that we have to do in the next minute, hour or day might make us feel worried or scared. So when we experience such feelings, we're either accessing past memories or we're imagining a future in which things will go wrong. To stop ourselves from doing this, we must focus on our present. One of the best ways of being in the present is to focus on how we breathe. When we are stressed, we tend to take short shallow breaths and use only the upper half of our lungs. Adjusting our breathing so that we use the lower half of our lungs is called diaphragmatic breathing. Practicing diaphragmatic breathing involves three steps. Step 1. While sitting or standing, and to help guide you, place your right hand on your stomach, just below your belly button, and then place your left hand on your chest. Step 2. Breathe through your nose for a slow count of three. As you breathe in, your right hand should rise as the lower half of your lungs take in air. Step 3. Slowly exhale through your mouth for a slow count of six. Your right hand will fall as the air is expelled from your lungs. Now, repeat these three steps for a minute. Practicing this kind of conscious breathing has the following benefits. It induces a state of relaxation. It reduces stress and anxiety. And having to actively adjust our breathing forces us to concentrate on the moment, placing us firmly in the present. The third step, laugh, involves you changing your physical state by deliberately smiling and laughing. Our brain is unable to compare current behaviour with previous feelings or thoughts. So if we feel scared and then smile or chuckle to ourselves, our brain does not consider there to be a contradiction between our feelings and our behaviour. Instead, our brain will take its cue from our behaviour and will think that we are happy. In order to complete this third step, it's not always possible to laugh, especially if you're in a public place. So start with a smile. If it helps, Remind yourself of a funny situation, TV show or joke. If you're on your own, go ahead and laugh, even if it sounds false at first. Since what we do influences what we think, and what we think affects how we feel, the process of making ourselves smile and laugh helps us to feel positive and ready for the final step. 
The fourth step is about moving yourself closer to what you want to achieve. It involves getting started through taking action. Getting started might involve smiling at the first person who catches your eye in a room full of strangers. Putting a hand up so that we can ask a question or state our point. Saying hello to an audience we are about to present to or saying hello to that person we would like to know better. By making that first move it becomes easier to take the next one since we now have some feedback about the situation we were uncertain of. Through doing we quickly learn whether our worries or fears are justified. Occasionally they are, but more often than not, we discover that those fears and worries were unfounded. Use this tool set whenever your feelings prevent you from taking action. The more you practice this technique, the better you will be at calming yourself so that you're able to grasp opportunities, grow and enrich your life.